Hello, this is Judy Swigert, superintendent here at Greater Latrobe School District. Um, it's the month of March and uh, next week is the spring holiday, but we do have a little snow out there, so um, hopefully it warms up soon. But I would like to spend the time this month talking about um, something you've probably read about in our local newspapers. Actually, it's two things. It's the creation of the Greater Latrobe um, Partners in Education Foundation which I know there was an article recently about that foundation. It is a foundation that has been created to support the Greater Latrobe School District. Um, we have some excellent people uh, working on that foundation, um, including the president, Marianne White, who you may be familiar with. But in addition to that, and what I really wanted to speak to today was um, the foundation's first real initiative, which is the a campaign that you probably also maybe have heard about. Um, there are three components to the a campaign, and they are the academics, the arts, and the athletics. And clearly, Greater Latrobe, since I've been here, and, and I do know historically, has always been about the three A's, hence the a name for the campaign. But the three components, very briefly, include an academic campaign, which is uh, to create um, and to establish every one of our classrooms in the Greater Latrobe School District as a global classroom. And that looks different depending on the level and the grade which we're speaking about. Um, but inclusive in all of those rooms would certainly include an interactive whiteboard, which if you've ever seen one, it really is a, a, a whiteboard on steroids as some people describe it. Um, but it is interactive in the sense that it is connected to the internet and provides a wealth of resources for teachers. In addition to that are student response systems, which allows us to um, informally assess as well as formally assess our students on knowledge and, and information that they've gained from lessons. Um, in addition to that are specific kinds of things that uh, deal with um, what we believe to be inclusive in a global classroom, such, such as just one example, an interactive globe, and if you've ever, um, if you remember your geography experiences, these globes are really wonderful um, pieces of technology that assist in not only describing or telling what area you're looking at on the uh, globe, but also uh, detailed information about population and various things about those areas. So that's just one example. Um, that is the academic piece. It is one that is, again, historic in Greater Latrobe because back in late 90s, um, early 2000s, we began the one-to-one -one laptop initiative here in the district. Uh, the second area is the arts, which is another area that most um, community members are very familiar with Greater Latrobe and the arts. Um, probably thinking about the art collection at the senior high school, uh, which has been housed there for many, many years, started years ago um, by two teachers at the high school. Um, we have since um, probably beginning middle 2000s, uh, have started an elementary art collection, which if you have children in the elementary buildings, you're aware of that. But the junior high school has always been an area which um, collected and um, hung a student art, but did not do anything really with um, the original art that is housed or is um, selected at the high school and the elementaries. So just recently that was started, uh, about a year and a half ago, and um, part of that uh, conversation was where they would be hung and so on. Um, if you've been in the junior high school uh, or was a student there at one time, you know about what we call the long corridor, which is the corridor from the cafeteria down through by the gymnasium. It is about, oh, I don't know, 16 foot wide and extremely long um, in distance. And our hope is to renovate that area to uh, number one, provide an area to hang original art as well as provide other spaces for um, art instruction. Um, in addition, that piece also includes a renovation to the entrance of the junior high school as well as the connecting corridor between the junior and senior high. And the last component of the campaign, which probably is the one you are most familiar, is the athletic wellness complex at the junior senior high school. It is the one that has received the most attention and it is obviously the first one that is um, under construction so therefore it would receive that attention. Um, it is a complex which will um, add a fifth tennis court uh, turf the two fields that are presently there, um, one behind the high school, one behind the junior high school. Um, 
develop the track that was originally around the field at the high school, but it was a cinder track and literally is probably not defined too much any longer. Um, it includes an outdoor basketball uh, court and some other items. And basically our goals here are to number one, create a campus atmosphere at our junior senior high school. You're probably well aware, especially if you're a parent of a student in those buildings, that oftentimes at the end of the day, um, in order for our students to practice and participate in activities, they need to leave the campus um, because they go to so many different sites. This facility will allow um, most of our um, practices and events to occur there. It does not and, and has never been planned to replace Memorial Stadium, Stadium for Friday night football games. They will remain at Memorial Stadium. But it is a, an excellent opportunity for our students um, at the junior senior high school, as well as the community. Uh, there will be a walking path that connects to our environmental uh, classroom that was uh, built by Latrobe Rotary and actually dedicated this past um, fall. Um, it's an exciting project as well because all of our students in the junior and senior high school will be able to utilize these fields and these um, various areas um, through their physical education classes, which you're probably uh, familiar also. Um, all of our students take physical education at various times through those programs. Um, and it also includes a fifth tennis court, which I don't believe I mentioned at the beginning. So that, that piece of the campaign is actually under construction. Um, it began um, November, December, actually when it was getting cold. Um, we've had some bad weather, but we are on target um, as far as completion dates. Our hope is to have the one field accessible in August and then the completion of the entire area before the end of 2013. So it's very exciting. All of these three things um, are part of the A-plus campaign. Um, the, the wellness complex has kind of been singled out, but it truly is encompassing the arts, the academics, and the athletics. And I wanted to make sure that you were aware of that. And just to finish up, I know there's been discussion of uh, the cost of this. And please know that the district um, did a bond issuance um, over a year ago uh, for $10 million. And I know the uh, headline, I think, in the newspaper was at no cost to the district. And not um, to say that that is wrong, but it kind of is. Um, because obviously when you borrow $10 million, you have to pay back $10 million. What the conversation was at the time of that borrowing, that with interest rates being extraordinarily low, um, the district would not have to raise millage at any time to pay for the loan of the $10 million. So it wasn't that there's no cost to the district in the sense that certainly the district needs to pay that money back, but it will not have to raise taxes or millage as we call it to pay for that bond issuance. So I just wanted to explain that. What basically happened was our debt extended two years to pay that additional $10 million because of the low interest rates at that time. So if that's still not clear, certainly um, give my office a call because we want to make sure that's clear because oftentimes that's asked at meetings and we try to explain it, but sometimes when you sit down and you actually see it, um, it's more clear. But it's an exciting time at Greater Latrobe. Um, the A-plus campaign is our first um, initiative with the foundation. It is a, um, a huge undertaking for the district. We know that. But we also believe that one of our charges is to raise additional revenue to support the programs here at Greater Latrobe. And we believe um, that we will be able to be successful in this um, as far as getting these three areas within the A-plus campaign completed in the next two years. So if you have any questions, I appreciate it. Thank you very much.